been talking about it. Just 14 reps. That's underwhelming. The fifth slowest in combine history. It's historically it's bad time. 19.5 vertical tied for third worst of all time. It's a candle when people start asking them about the bench press and the drills. Today's my pro day. Um, obviously one of the biggest days of my life. The way the combine went, you know, things weren't all that well and, um, you know, I mean, I got a lot to prove. So he's going to have to work on this right now. It'll be interesting to see it, how he looks in the drills at Oklahoma. I don't like the taste uh, that I left in my mouth after the combine. You know, I'm you know, looking to improve my numbers and, you know, go out and show, you know, I'm a first round pick. Definitely the biggest day of my life. This is the biggest day of my life. The pressure's on and, you know, I'm really looking for, you know, just to prove all these people wrong. As Orlando heads into the most important day of his young football career, he takes a moment to reflect on his father, Orlando Brown Sr. He was an undrafted free agent that ended up playing in the league for 13 seasons as an offensive lineman. The man once known as Zeus tragically died when Orlando was 15 years old. My dad passed with like ketoacidosis, which is basically like a diabetic coma. He didn't know he had diabetes. He was, he was sick with the flu, uh, drinking different types of juices and stuff. And uh, he ended up going into a diabetic coma and no one was there. From that day on, you know, September 23rd, 2011, you know, I just think that I had to grow. I know the promises that I made him and everything that he wanted me to do. And so football was something that I turned to after he passed just to really use it more for our coping mechanism than anything. I learned a lot from him. He was an undrafted free agent, had to earn his job, and he told me, I don't want you going down that road. I want you to be a first round draft pick. I think there's some guys that play football just because they like the notoriety. I mean, there's just some guys that absolutely love playing. He definitely falls in the just love playing category. You know, his dad was is one of the best offensive linemen to play in the NFL. He's got a lot to live up to, and I think he's handled it really, really well. I get, you know, what happened at the combine happened, you know, but hopefully they look at this pro day, they look at my film, and they look at me as a person and understand that you don't want to bet against me. I mean, I just wanted to approach it as if it was a game, and basically with my game day mentality, I was going to go out there and, and dominate. 25 and a half. There's the most diverse range of opinions on Orlando Brown than perhaps any player in the draft. This is the kind of atmosphere with all 32 teams here, head coaches, GMs. I think he's going to embrace the moment. The teams that are hell-bent on numbers and combine and, and 40 times and all that, you know what, they may not draft him, and that's, and that's okay. You know, but the teams that, that care about football and really study the tape, they're going to see there's a reason why the guy did what he did, and it showed up every single day for three years, and he's going to do a great job for whatever team selects him. In front of a packed house with all eyes on him, Orlando Brown was determined to vanquish his combine numbers. Today, he would deliver. Going into the combine, I ran at 577, but for my pro day, man, I was running, got to about the 38 yard line. And, I think I went to, to Usain Bolt the situation and ended up shaving a couple tenths of a second off my time, so I ended up running a 5.63, I think, officially. Come on, go, go. During the bench, I was just thinking about, you know, everything that everyone had said before uh, about the 14 reps, and uh, I just wanted to go out and show that I'm better than that. I still know 18 is a low number for offensive linemen, but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I've, I've been working. So people at home know Orlando came out today, he improved his broad jump and his vertical by a minimum of six inches in both. Improvement all across the lot. Measurables are in the bag. You come out here with a couple NFL O-line coaches. How'd you feel in the workout? Uh, I felt pretty good. Uh, obviously, I was prepared, you know, ready to come out here and dominate and compete. And, you know, that's what I did. 
Orlando's done great. You know, he's tested um, just like we thought he would the whole time. And I think you know, after that combine, he's, he's really um, come back and showed the teams that, you know, that, that was a fluke. That was just a bad day for him. Orlando, uh, have you improved? There's been a lot of question and skepticism about your performance at the combine. Do you think you've improved today? I've improved a lot. Um, hopefully these people recognize I only had a week off. In, in what ways have you improved? Uh, bench, 40. Um, broad, vertical. Yes. What can you contribute to success to? Us. Mark. I'm <laughs> Brian. <laughs> so what, uh, what you think about the football drills? Man, it was a good job. It was a good job. It was, um, it was all the stuff that we had worked on. Yeah. Jamal's my mentor. Uh, he played in the NFL for, um, I want to say, seven or eight different seasons. It was a first round pick for New Orleans Saints in 2005. I've been with Orlando the last 10 days after the combine. Went to California to see him and uh, you know, make sure his mind was right. And then from there, we came here for the pro day to, to improve the numbers. That was the plan. Let them know that you're a dominant football player. That's where I excel. That's what I'm ready to do. For me personally, I mean, he's been, you know, something close to a father figure. You know, someone that I can say honestly has, you know, given me great advice throughout my life and, uh, you know, definitely been there since losing my dad. <laughs> After the pro day, um, I came back here. Um, a couple of my teammates came by. You know, just to just to talk, just to holler. Uh, everyone was pretty excited with my performance. Bro, Mike Mayock told me today that uh, there was a scout there that went to my dad's pro day, and he ran a 5.85 in his 40. Your dad? My dad. That was the same number I ran. Through. And that's kind of crazy, but it's, that's good, a right? A 5.85? I don't know if that's good or bad news, because my dad was undrafted, so. <laughs> you know, no discredit to him. He ended up having a great career, but I'm not trying to be undrafted. Yeah, what are you going for the draft? Yeah, you going up there? Oh, no, I'll be here, bro. You going to be in the You going to be Norman? Uh, yeah, yeah, Norman, yeah. You know y'all are going very much invited. <laughs> yeah, y'all just don't laugh at me when I cry. I'm probably going to laugh at you, fam. I'm going to cry like, like You're just going to wear your dad's jersey, too. You ain't going to get the new thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They're just going to stitch a junior on the back. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about him. And uh, I can only imagine you know, how excited he would be to, to go through this, to be a part of it to see everything and uh, you know man I mean it, it sucks that he's not here but you know I'm just making sure I do my best so he can live through me. <laughs>